Hello everybody. I think I'm completely alone here right now, but let's see. What are we going to do today? Mm. I wanted to compose something orchestral, emotional, something just beautiful, we would say. Okay, and that could fit perfectly in video games. So, let's start with piano. A piano, just I, ha I have loaded here the piano tech. I think it's not possible to make it this bigger. Okay, so just. this piano for passages like this, like making sketches, I mean. So, let's see. Mm. And just using logic remote here. Okay, there is someone watching it looks like. I am not really used to use Twitch, so I'm sorry if I just don't say many, if I, if I say any mistakes or something that maybe sounds stupid to someone who uses this a lot, but it's not something I used. So I'm just searching for something interesting, but I left one thing. This change from mm, F minor to D min to C minor. I left it. Okay, so let's.
have recently updated the Berlin series to the Shine Player version. Mm, not sure if I really liked it, but it's okay, so... Mm. But anyway... We, I think we can start with something different, like maybe in contact the Symphonic Sphere library, this one, and let's uh, this. Okay, so let's move the piano sketch around here, and let's start. Okay, let's see. I didn't record it. No. Okay. So this, violins, flag, geolet, track. Let's put these guys to the right bit. And now, what instrument could bring this melody for the first time? I'm thinking... Okay, maybe we could start with something in the woodwinds? I don't know... Woodwind Solist, maybe? And for that I'm going to use Berlin Strings, uh, Berlin Solist woodwinds. And I want an oboe, which this sounds amazing. So let's add some river here. I really like this one for these instruments. And the melody would be... Now we need something uh, 
we need something that give us the harmonies. So I'm thinking of an arc, for example, just this. This one is quite nice. It's super realistic, maybe not too defined, which is better for kind of atmospheric background. So. something like that. I like it. I like this. So let's see. usually like to quantize absolutely everything but I think the ARP is going to to be something interesting to quantize so also these are the violins the black violet tremolo uh, okay so I'm going to record now the, the last the last part this this area of this because I don't I didn't record this violins so and let's go back to the this area just to tweak the to took the expression and the modulation so something like that okay so what else should we do now for example i think we should add this is an arp we can add a celesta or celesta i'm not sure how to pronounce this in english Okay, so let's go with the Berlin percussion. Okay, I'm still not used to this library, just updated to the Shine version yesterday. So. Um,
okay just to add a bit of color extra color nothing really super interesting um, I'm missing here some violas doing some kind of tremolo so I think we can add them from the Berlin strings which is this one and we want violas uh, I think it's here they organize the library differently than in the contact version so okay and I want to do some kind of swells just to create some textures extra texture Kind of magical. There is just viola strum. There is something in the celesta in the beginning that I'm not liking at all. I think it's around here. Let's see. It was this this note. Okay, let's go. Okay, also here the legato is not, not completely great, so sorry, I'm, I just corrected this. Okay, <clears throat> I think in the change of the key, when we uh, go from F minor to C minor, I need some extra emotion there, so I need mm, something to get a bit bigger. Not too much, but maybe a bit. And I think we can mm, achieve that with... Okay, I'm going to use the contact version for the Berlin woodwinds because I'm used to this one and I, I I prefer to use this. So I think we are going to, sorry, I mean, I'm just loading some oboes, doing sustains, so two oboes, and just to add some extra, um, I, I don't know, deepness in, in, in this area when the change of, top of the key. are not the sons sustains not enough so I think we can add clarinets maybe just doing the same thing 
So clarinet one, clarinet two, just doing sustains both of them. So let's see. Something like that. I prefer clarinet sustains. I like this. And now we can go to the same melody, for example, but with the strings, because I think the change of color that the strings can bring to this to, to, to this kind of pieces. It's really beautiful when you come from super soft parts like this one with woodwinds, heart, celesta. It's super nice change of color. So let's go. I think I'm going just to add one little more thing, which is French horn, but just really subtle, really soft one. So the first horn, I think this one. Let's see. Absolutely great strings for legato. Probably the best I I've tried, and I've tried lots of strings libraries. Okay, so. Let's listen to the whole passage so we can get an idea of how to go back to the melody even when it's with different instruments. Maybe we need one or two uh, beats or maybe not, we will see. can go directly. We will work on the transition a bit later.
it's a bit uncomfortable to <laughs> to control the dynamics with the microphone here and some extra cables I don't usually need but violins to legato let's call this way and okay okay let's go back I want basses right now just to bring the harmony root notes so let's see For strings I usually compose <clears throat> this way, like I first record the instrument that brings the melody and then I record the bass line and then I try to find different voices for the rest of the instruments because it's much more realistic than if we go with just chords and all the strings doing just chords all together. Mm, strings are not usually written that way, so yeah, sometimes can be useful in that way, but not if I want the protagonism in the in the strings. So let's see. Something faster because the melody is quite calm, quite slow, and I want some movement in the middle. Let's go, let's go to tweak some wrong notes here, especially after after the modulation. So let's see. And also the dynamics are not here good. Okay. Let's see because this is the transition and I really hate these things. Let's 
let's go with the expression just trying to emulate it how a real player would perform this uh, let's see that way I usually do this with a controller but <coughs> then I click with the with the piano roll so. Okay, not too bad. It's not probably the line I would finally want there, but not bad. Just to give first idea. Let's load violas right now so violas like that so, um, let's find something different but in the same line of the telly melody so let's see Nazis. <laughs> no. So yeah, I think this line was much, much better than the jelly one, but it's fine. So, 
Mm, we need here to bring the harp again, I think. So let's go just to, to make some kind of glue with the previous part. So. mistakes in the ARP, many of them, but let's see because it just it, it just needs to give the color, so I would tweak it if this was a piece for something, but we will see, let's see. I think that's enough. Okay, so we have this so far. Let's see. the violins too with first violins just because I don't want we, we don't have here super big sound and I don't think it's need necessary and also I like the dark tone of the strings here and if I added extra tape it would be more bright probably so I just think I, I want this way so Let's work a bit on this transition because it sounds a bit weird the way it is. So um, I think we can go with symbols maybe. And let's. Um, I think it's dynamics. Um, okay. Yeah, something like that. 
Let's add one of these. it and suspend it symbols and then to call it this way so okay we have this here I usually have this in another screen but I don't have this possibility today so what happened the transition was here 25 okay so let's move it around there I think to avoid any kind of clicks or clipping or something, not clipping clicks. Let's just fade out this. What else? Mm, I just want. Let's add some timpani. I especially like the Hans Zimmer percussion timpanis by Spitfire Audio. Uh, let's add some rolls. Uh, let's record this is going to F. Okay, these are timpani rolls, and I also like how the um, Berlin percussion bass drums work. So let's go here, I think, yeah, something not too big, maybe something here. Not bad, nothing really interesting, it's super sample right now, so, but let's leave it, uh, hits, okay, let's put this bit to the right, and I don't know, but, um, um, I want to start adding woodwinds maybe, so bassoons, just trying to avoid this area because of the microphone I can't really okay let's see so let's record some bassoons Okay, just thought about adding tam-tam, 
but I want to add this one. Yes, I know I'm not working with a template. Mm, here, tam tams. I think something like this one, maybe. Yes. Let's go. Thing we can bring here also the so this is 25 23 okay so this should go somewhere right here around here mm, let's see where we have it where we have the transition we have it here 33 okay so 33 i think it should be around here and this is like 25, 20, okay, so 23, 29, I think. I'm just copying the transition, let's say that way. So, um, to this part, and in this part, maybe we can double violins actually and make this sound big and emotional, super emotional and big, okay? So let's copy first let's copy the melody of the second violins here for the first ones first violins and just um, use it from that point so this would be something and let's put it one octave higher so start with the brush there and so let's also tap double the okay let's copy this okay the first violins melody in the horns we are going to tweak it now and let's just put it lower problem with the horns just doubling the, the violins and it's basically that a uh, brass player need to breath violins don't need to stop to to have breaths in their melodies but brass really need this so I think this is complicated to play so I'm not a brass player I'm a pianist but I think I can imagine this kind of Mm, big jumps or I don't know how to call it are really are, are quite difficult so let's add here just a little breath like something here just to take breath to go back there let's add here again and I think this is possible to play so let's see
Okay, that's beautiful. Mm, so, okay, let's... Okay. Let's double, double the French horns. Not just, I don't want just one horn, I want two horns, okay? So let's add this and this, okay? Let's go to the shine player. And let's Berlin brass, horns three. Horns one and three are usually the ones mm, bringing the melody. So taking the melody, so. Okay, so we have now two horns doing the melody and I think I'm going to use now the French horns, okay, contact, it's the same, the mm, two and four, just as sustains, so let's play two notes, the root and the fifth, probably in the harmony. using the jump kick style brass or tohawk in Berg brass because I want it so, to sound more classical not too modern <laughs> used still to the contact library so sorry for that just updated yesterday to the Berlin brass so <laughs> sorry I'm just showing you the piano editor and not the project itself uh, sorry just not used to to this so let's use now the flutes doubling the melody so flute one and flute two are going to double to double the first violins here so okay this is One and two. Okay. okay, so what we have so far? Let's see.
Alright, song theme. Bigger in this transition. I need to make it bigger. Just it's like we come from really soft, slow, soft, calm part, and then the sound gets bigger just for no reason. So let's work better this area, this, and let's start just by tweaking the timpani here because they should be. Let's see this part of this. It's like the timpani here are not really... Okay, let's add some fire maybe. I think these guys... This choir is really, really beautiful. So let's add. Okay, let's add some roll in the timpani at the end.
we can also play let's remove this mm, we can also play piano with a bit of reverb maybe just to create kind of atmosphere so let's see what piano could be nice Neuer is beautiful quite cinematic sound also I think and I like to add just mm, this river I like it it's not too expensive this river is like 70 dollars or euros I don't remember exactly but it sounds really beautiful so let's add quite a lot and is beautiful but in this area we don't need a piano so um, this is going to be piano and we could um, just bring this to a better sounding maybe if we just add it for example some I think it's in toys and we want or maybe not in toys maybe where it is come on Browns. you know this kind of mark tree percussion maybe not percussion and bits of metals small metals okay it's here I think chimps okay Okay, let's remove this because I just want mm, maybe glass. 
Ya. So let's go with Contravasus, which are from one of the expansions. Soon for this kind of passages because of the tone of the instrument it's I don't know I don't really enjoy it but sometimes we need it just to add extra and okay I'm going to do something because I feel here we need more space so let's load Omnisphere and we're going to use a simulator this is like typical synth sound, you don't want to be heard in the mix, but you want it to be there because it helps you with the, with the deep and the bass frequencies. So I'm just creating a sine wave and just I just want it to be one bow voices, so let's see. And It's just going to add that deep to the deep sound. So I think we've been here for one hour already and we have done this from scratch. So let's listen to the whole piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
just emotional music, cinematic orchestral emotional. Mm, I think the piano is a bit too loud too. And I don't know, maybe we can. Okay, we could add also a mm, bass trombone because I still feel we need something more in the bass frequencies. Mm. I think I'm having some kind of problems with the connection, maybe. Let's see. the volume of this second symbol side and it's basic automatization. <laughs> people watching which is totally normal I don't use this so I just hope if there is someone there that you enjoyed it that you liked it you found something useful in this video and let's see you in the next one bye